Hi, Rorina. Okay, welcome to today's Sunday Continuing Education. Uh, today is a topic that I'm really excited about. It's how to live uh, in less toxins, okay? And one of the main things that we do in our homes is we clean them with lots of different chemicals. And you're gonna learn today from Dr. Penny Peng how to use your essential oils, vinegar, baking soda to clean your house. And so when I learned about this, I got so excited because I have seven kids. And I used to like clean myself. I didn't, I didn't want them to be exposed to all those toxins, right? Um, but then when I learned it this way, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going to like buy seven sponges and just put, have them all help me now because now, you know, they don't have to wear gloves or anything. They can help me clean the whole house. And actually when they're cleaning, they're getting some benefits because they're breathing in the essential oils, which have many, many health benefits. Okay. So I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Penny Peng. She's an amazing dentist. Um, she practices in the Covina area. She's very well established there. She has two kids that are very talented and a husband and she lives out in Redlands and she has a lot to share with us today. Okay, take it away, Dr. Penny. Hi everybody. I hope you have a good Sunday so far. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll try to introduce myself a little bit. Um, so I have been experiencing uh, essential oil for three years. So when I, um, so I didn't pay attention on toxin free. I was just like, okay, essential oils. All right. Toxin free. Oh, whatever. <laughs> but then, so this whole COVID and then I start kind of start thinking, hold on a second. The news out there talking about don't use Clorox too much. People like start having break down of the skins and, uh, you know, watch out the chemical. And I mean, I kind of knew it and I know anything that I put on my skin, I was careful, but then the more I read about it, the more I was, I'm, I'm start, you know, just be more aware of what's going on. Okay. So, um, this is a subject that some of us thought, okay, now how do we, how do we live in a toxin free living? Well, I believe this is an ongoing learning process, okay, through education, by reading, sharing information with all of you, you know, and just do it day by day, week by week. So first, let's talk about what are toxic low means, okay? Why is it important to know about this? Now, toxic load refers to the volume of toxic substances that have been accumulated in our body at any given time and the overall burden is placed on our body system and the vital organs. So toxins come from countless sources, okay? Environmental threat, chemical, and radiation are the three most common categories. Now your body has a number of passageways through which it is directly exposed to toxins. So the three most common pathway of the exposures are our lungs, the digestive tract, and the skin, okay? We're directly exposed to toxins through the air we breathe, the food we eat, and any that con anything that contact our skin. Now we can be protective and proactive by reducing toxic buildup, focus on clean, whole food diet, detoxify with the regular dietary cleans and use all natural household skin and hair care products. And then so I'm going to share with you um, the all natural household and skin and hair care product today. And also I will uh, share a little bit of my experience about uh, my detox experience that I did it this June, okay? So now I'm going to share screen bear with me. So we're going to start with here. So I'm going to do it from the beginning. Okay. So think about all the stuff that you use today. Okay. How many of us are using some of the household products today? I bet like the first thing you wake up in the morning, what do you do? Okay. And the next thing, what do you do? 
So if you look at this slide, there's two major sources of toxin we're exposed to, the household product, the personal care product. And while some company make product that are safe to eat, other company choose to use that is known to human carcinogen, okay? Or developmental toxin like coal tar and lead acetate. When risky chemicals are used in cosmetic, the stakes are high. They're not trace contaminant like those found on part, uh, part per million or even part per billion level of food and water. So just to think about uh, every day and every, every time we use those products, try to kind of try to start, you know, trying to be aware of what, what's happening. Now, so what do you think of the personal care product? So now, since I'm a dentist, I'm going to talk about, uh, I have to do a lot of research on the toothpaste. And I am so excited, by the way, I tried to show you guys the new, doTERRA is going to come up with a new on guard toothpaste. It's gonna look like this, okay, in October. Okay, so what are, what are the ingredients in toothpaste that you want to watch out for, okay? There's two ingredients that I think that I want to uh, bring to your attention. One is triclosan. The other one is called sodium lauryl sulfate, which is called SLS. Now from consumer report, May 2019 report, I look it up. Triclosan actually can disrupt some thyroid hormones and immunity. And it's a contribute to antibiotic resistant overall. Now triclosan was banned from hand soap and body washes in 2017. So how many of us were born 2017? Or before 2017? <laughs> Me. <laughs> so imagine we have been using all these since we were born, okay? Now even Colgate updated to a triclosan free formula and also the uh, sodium lauryl sulfate, again, SLS. What is SLS? SLS is a detergent that uh, has cleaning, it has a little cleaning power, but instead it creates that foaming to help circulate the toothpaste into the nooks and cranes. Some people like myself, I realized in my 20s, I get a lot of canker sore, okay? And I thought, what? why do I keep on getting canker sore? And then some of my patients also experiencing, if you're experiencing the peeling of the mouth tissue, now pay attention, okay? So a lot of us are uh, actually allergic to SLS. So a lot of company come out with the toothpaste, even the, you know, uh, like soap or uh, hair product, they, they, they will, you know, have a label say SLS free, non-foaming, so, so just watch out. Now, the reason I'm gonna go back to this toothpaste again, the doTERRA new formulated on guard toothpaste. What is so special about this? So what's so special about it is they have this ingredient, it's called hydroxy appetite. And you're, gonna, you're going to hear about this a lot, okay? Now, hydroxy appetite is a biocompatible material that naturally occurring in our bones, teeth, and saliva as a mineral form of calcium appetite, okay? It's used, okay, by our saliva to remineralization our teeth. It's making up 97% of our tooth enamel, 70% of dentin, and 60% of our bone. Now you're probably going to ask me, okay, so why hydroxy appetite? Okay, now hydroxy appetite in the toothpaste, okay, is going to help to remineralize. What does remineralize mean? It means we build our tooth structure without any known side effect, okay? Now our teeth has a cavity growth and so the tooth decay and destroy teeth when the remineralization of our teeth outweigh the demineralization. I know there's a lot of words here. Just basically, I want to tell you hydroxy appetite helps to, uh, you know, kind of like a hero for our teeth. It's going to strengthen our teeth. All right. So I'm excited about
sorry. I'm trying to mute people and I accidentally muted Dr. Penny. So, hey, Dr. Penny, do you hear me? Can you unmute yourself? We're not hearing all your great things. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I just awesome. had a lot of fun and I was trying to uh, mute people. I accidentally muted you. But I, I just want to let you know that I am like writing some of the more um, scientific terminology in the chat box. Like if you don't okay. know how to spell it or if you want to yeah. read it. I tend to be a very visual learner, so I like to read things too. Okay. So if you want to good. Okay. Help me out. Chat, okay. Thank so, you. So what did you hear so far? Did I miss? Did I? I don't know where you muted me. So um, um, at the hydroxy appetite, how it remineralizes your teeth. Okay. Yeah, you didn't miss. You didn't miss much. Yeah. Just, just I'm excited. Have you received this toothpaste yet? I haven't received my convention oh, kit, so I'm still waiting. I love it. I love it. It has a little extra mintiness to it. Okay. Pyramid and uh, peppermint. Peppermint was there already, but pyramid and it just it really it cleans well. Like after I clean, I just really feel. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm excited. I, I can't wait. I just haven't received mine. I'm like, read, it, read about it. Like, I'm almost like drooling about it, but I don't have my toothpaste. <laughs> so anyway, all right, the second thing, I don't want to bore you guys too much, but okay. So just all this. So as I talk, you just try to kind of start thinking, especially like this uh, deodorant. A lot of people know the uh, toxins in the Antiperspirant, right? The most common chemical ingredients found in deodorant and the antiperspirant are paraben, triclosan again, um, phthalates and propylene, glycol, and aluminum. Research has linked these ingredients to several medical conditions, including uh, types of cancer and reproductive developmental issue. So I want to share an information about paraben, okay? So for a lot of our medical um, field, we like to look up, uh, it's called PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D. And PubMed is a, a free resource that's supporting um, researchers and uh, peer-reviewed biomedical and life science literature, okay, that aim to improving health both globally and personally. Now the PubMed database contain more than 30 million citation and abstract for peer review biomedical literature. So if you guys like interested to look up some stuff, just type in even just the a word and then there's a lot of research article will come up. So for example, so I was looking up the paraben. Okay, what is paraben, what, what's paraben going to do? So there's a particular uh, medical research caught my attention that was done here, I'll read you the objective, is accumulation of estrogenic compounds and other carcinogen in normal breast tissue contribute to unpredictable breast cancer incident during adolescent and throughout life. To assess the role of paraben in this phenomenon and the paraben content of adjacent normal malignant breast tissue is measured in women with a breast cancer living in um, Ishfa province in uh, Iran, actually. So this particular literature, the result is some risk factor for breast cancer was stimulated by paraben in adjacent malignant uh, normal breast tissue among young and middle-aged women. So the conclusion is um, you really want to look out the ingredient that we put in our body, okay? So that was very fascinating for me to look that up. Now, in today's um, society, okay, people are becoming more conscious about uh, living uh, a healthier life from food, you know, daily consumer products and exercising regularly. But how familiar are you to the, with those ingredients that go on to your shampoo, uh, to your like uh, skincare product, I'm guessing that answer is probably some of us are getting more aware, some are not, okay? So even for the best intention that we try to read the label at the back of the bottle, most of us will give up trying to understand all the scientific term, uh, chemical compound. So a lot of time, if you really read all these, if you don't understand them, don't buy them. <laughs> That's my rule of thumb. In fact, I went to Costco 
last week. I even saw they have essential oil shamp uh, shampoo. And then it's actually from uh, Pantene. They even have essential oil hair conditioning too. So read about them. It's, it's, it's fascinating to me now. Now, a lot of us actually will buy stuff. It's based on scent, the color, the brand, and then the advertising. And so, so just be careful, okay? Now, what are the harmful sh uh, shampoo ingredients that I want to point out and then so you can pay attention? Again, SLS, paraben, and there's like tons of ingredients that is actually harmful. But actually, I'm, I'm actually amazed there's one particular ingredient is formaldehyde. Now, you guys say, what? They put formaldehyde? No way. Guess what? They're not going to say formaldehyde in the shampoo bottle. They're going to say the shampoo has uh, it's called quaternium number 15, okay? Now the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, has classified formaldehyde as a probable human carcinogen. National Cancer Institute researchers have concluded that based on data from studies in people and from lab use research, exposure to formaldehyde may cause leukemia, okay, particularly myeloid leukemia in humans. Oh my goodness, right? You're like, no way. So the synthetic fragrance, synthetic colors, those are actually harmful, okay, to our, uh, to our skin. Now, you know, our skin is the, mo is the biggest organ in our body, right? Um, it absorbs 60% of the chemical uh, in products, okay? So again, uh, look up the skincare product. Again, there's paraben sometime in there, there's formaldehyde in there, there's SLS. So I can go on and on and on, okay? So I don't wanna bore you with that, but just pay attention. So instead of using this, Start thinking about, you know, uh, doTERRA definitely have a lot of stuff are all natural. So, and I can uh, certainly say my family and myself, uh, we're very, you know, we trust the product and we know it's not gonna hurt us. So that's why I, I just start changing them. Okay, so next, next I'm gonna talk about, let's see. Okay, this is a problem I had last time. Is to push for the next slide. <laughs> uh, Maybe um, is it is something that you did? Put your, put your cursor on the slide and then press the forward button. Oh, here we go. Ah. All right. Is there somebody like washing something in the background? I just hear water running. I don't know why. So maybe my house is so that's right. I'm using the earphone. Can you still hear? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. But there's no washing here. <laughs> okay. So all right. So if you have ever bought organic anything, I bet the answer is yes, right? So now I like to spend some time to go over the benefit of using natural personal uh, household product from doTERRA. Okay. So now, and do you know many of those non-toxic alternative actually are cheaper than those toxic counterpart product? So for example, this Ungar doTERRA cleaner concentrate, I love this one. This bottle has five milliliter Ungar oil in it, all right? So many of us know what's Ungar oil, right? It has blend of wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, essential oil. Now these powerful essential oil blend is combined with a plant-based derivative that provide a non-toxic and biodegradable way to clean and eliminate odors. Okay, so for example, this one, all you need to do is you mix two tablespoon, okay, with the filtered water on a, in a 24 ounce glass bottle, okay? That's all you need to do. Optional, you can add more Angar oil or some other oil if you want. And I will carry this, I should have demonstrated and show you guys my glass bottle. And I can just spray 
everywhere in my house. The doorknobs, you know, the kitchen, the kitchen floor, the kitchen counter, dirty bathroom. Like, in fact, I just clean, yeah, right there. I clean everywhere. So guess what? Uh, this bottle, I, I, I use this to clean the pots and pans and the whole sale of this bottle is $14.50. I can make 12 of that bottle and that will last me about a month, depending on how much cleaning do you want to do, okay? <laughs> so, so that's just, just amazing. That whole bottle lasts me for the whole month. Now, another thing that I like to have is called Ongar Foaming Hand Wash, okay? Again, it's a wonderful product. Um, I uh, just use uh, half of, actually, I, I do one third of that uh, bottle and I fill up again with the filter water and then I just put in all my area by the sink and then um, and then you know that that take care of it sometimes if they run out of the hand wash okay we have recipe that is so simple that you can actually make your own uh, hand and the hand wash and you can use the same pump by the way when you do that it becomes the foam all right so there's a, a lot of uh, DIY recipe blogs uh, on our Facebook side, on doTERRA side, so look it up, okay? Now, uh, how many of us are using diffuser right now? I am. I'm using adaptive, because I know I'm speaking and I wanna be calm and I can deliver the message to you. Now, instead of using candles, try to, try to use your diffuser, okay? You can customize uh, your favorite scent using natural essential oil, okay? And then it benefit the mood, it ben benefit the health instead of, uh, again, harmful fragrance, okay? From the candles and, and fresheners in the bathroom, freshener. So all I'm doing uh, after my kids use the, you know, the bathroom, all I'm just told them to use one drop of purified oil and just put one drop in the toilet and then that take care of the scent, okay? So that's my trick. Now the on-guard detergent right here, boy, this one, I'm amazed how much, uh, how clean my clothes can be, okay? Because this is a very, very high concentrated six-time laundry detergent that has bio-originated enzyme that target stain. So each bottle, again, it has 10 milliliter on guard essential oil in it. You can actually, if you count it, you can do about 64, 64 loads of laundry. All you need to do is one tablespoon for your HE washers, okay? The bottle costs $27.50 or wholesale price. So I calculated each laundry that we do is 43 cents. Okay, so I know some of you might be excited about transitioning some of your products, but some of you might also be wondering, oh man, if there's anything you can do about the toxic load that you already have accumulated throughout all these years, there's a wonderful hope. I, I don't wanna make you think like, oh my goodness, all this year, I wasn't born 2017. Now everything, <laughs> everything I, I have in my body now, Boy, I'm doomed, no? No, you're not, okay? And so I wanna tell you there's hope. Now, I would like to turn, okay, uh, into this uh, wonderful uh, detox. You know, before I always thought detox for people who wanna lose weight. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> but I actually thought, man, and I, I started talking to my, my friends, and especially my wonderful, wonderful friend, Dr. Judy, who uh, talked about woman hormone and health last week, she talked about this a lot. So if you did not watch, attend her class, please go back to our recording and then, and then kind of listen to what she has to say about detox. Why do we detox? Now that we detox is because, again, we loaded with all these toxins in our uh, you know, liver and kidney, like I was telling you. So this is wonderful, uh, very gentle detox that we can kind of like, uh, like a restart, you know, for our, our body. And a lot of people do this, some of the symptoms 
that it will go away. For example, I have migraine, um, I have some health issue. When after I detox, I was amazed. Some of the symptoms that I had before actually disappear. Okay. And I want to show you a little film that I made from our Facebook. It's so easy. Okay. It's going to take you a I know some of you are gonna say, oh, slow down. Don't worry, okay, don't worry. I just wanna show you 12 reasons why do we do it. We're doing for liver support, antioxidant protection. Of course, it's gonna help us weight loss. It, it's going to enhance mental ability, increase energy, immune support. It's gonna help us our brain function, better cellular function. It's actually going to help us anti-aging protection and better digestion, enhance nutrition, and fights obesity. So this little clip I'm going to show you is going to go really fast. So for some of you who are very interested after this class that you want to do this, no worries. I can send you this slide and then it will teach you step by step for 30 days how you do it. It's so simple. Okay, so let me see if I can play it. All right. Any sound, um, Penny? Oh, no sound? No, I don't hear sound. Oh, because let's see, you might have to go back to your setting again. Uh, or is my setting? Let me see. I think if you are the host, you have to share the sound, maybe. playing on your device yeah it's playing on my uh my and i i can hear penny oh you can oh okay so some of us can hear some okay you can oh lorena could you hear no huh so some can hear some cannot interesting oh i see it share sound all right let's do it again let's do it again okay i made it Let's start again, okay? Here we go. Very simple, right? <laughs> oh, okay. So, so I would advise you, uh, you know, there's a hope. So try it, okay? And some of us uh, actually do twice a year. And I don't know when's the next time we're going to do it. You can join us or uh, you can do it on your own. And then, like I said, I can send you the video and it's so simple and easy. So the, these are, so for the next couple of minutes, I'm going to share some slides. You can take pictures from your phone, just some of the ideas that you can try. For example, this fresh and free, and I'm excited. Again, this is a new product that is coming out from doTERRA's convention, it's called Bergamot Mint, and then it's a mint family. So again, you know, instead of using the candle, you can actually use this recipe. 
So try it out, all right? And oh, and look at this, this one too. Repel insects, okay, <laughs> bug repellent, I'm excited. So uh, I try other recipe. Now this new product is called Tulsi. Uh, so we can use this recipe and try it out for bug repellent. So just to tell you the other day, I shared this with some of the uh, friends. Uh, you know, doTERRA has the Tirashil uh, bug repellent oils. So lately we have a lot of mosquitoes problems. So Friday I had a girl's night out. Oh, I was, I was actually <laughs> more scared of mosquitoes <laughs> than COVID, which I shouldn't say that, but I knock on the wood. Anyway, so I actually ladder up with a doTERRA body and hand uh, lotion with the, uh, the, the Tira Shield. And it really worked, okay? So I want all of you to try it and then let me know if it works for you, but it did work for me. So, because sometimes when you just create a spray with the oil and, uh, uh, you know, distilled water, it evaporates too fast, but the lotion actually holds it down. So it worked. So anyway. I would agree. I went to a outdoor movie showing on Friday night and yeah. a lot of people got bit and I did not get bit because I mixed the lotion with yeah. The oil a little better. Right. Okay. I'm so happy. Okay. So now, oh, take, you know, okay. So uh, some of us, you know, women like to take mineral bath, right? <laughs> so again, look at, look at this recipe, this wonderful recipe. So, uh, you know, the bergam, uh, again, the bergamot mint is here. So I can't wait to try some of these. And then guess what? Uh, Christmas time coming up. So you can make this and then give it to your friends, right? To, I mean, it's natural. They're, gonna, they're going to be so appreciative of, you know, receiving Christmas present from you that this not only help us to relax, but look at this is actually uh, help information. So this is amazing. Yeah, it'd be so cute. So we can start doing that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I read about another thing. How many of us actually like to start drinking those zero calorie, zero sugar flavor drinks? I see people buy it, cases and cases. <laughs> they think that they're not drinking. They think they're not drinking uh, calories and something. Pay attention on the ingredients, okay? So look at this, hydration station. You can actually just have the water and infuse with the oil. I have another trick for you. How many of you know Soda Streamer? Soda Stream. So, okay, my friend Dr. Judy gave me the Soda Stream, and then so it made the uh, water uh, bubbly, and then so you put a couple of ice, and then I put white grapefruit uh, oil in there. It tastes so good. So, so you don't need to go buy those, you know, flavor type of uh, water. You can just use this recipe, all right? So is not you're not putting soda in your water it's just carbonating your water that's right that's right yeah don't put, don't put the soda the sugar is not good for you all right so okay i'm gonna go through really quickly because time is i want to answer some oh. question yeah so you can take pictures okay there's day one okay so start start thinking what can you do today what can you do tomorrow like i said it's a very slow process so just do it just change one thing change two things uh, over a course of a couple months, okay? And we can all do that. All right, so this is for windows. This is for air filters. And just remember, this is just give you an idea, but you can try different things. There are so many different ways to do it. This is for furniture polish. For some of us, oh, I, I accidentally, um, I had a, a on guard Uber the other day. I. <laughs> trying to put it in the uh, sample and, and then I accidentally uh, dump all the angar on the wood table. I thought, oh no. So first thing I did is what? Water. Wrong. Don't do water. <laughs> Just grab any oil, like your cooking oil, and you can actually polish your, use angar oil to polish your wood furniture, <laughs> I guess. All yeah, right. I've done this before. Accident, uh, right? Accident happened. <laughs> No, the wood cleaner, I've done the wood cleaner. It works really well. It's a yeah. little oily, but it works very well. 
I had yeah. a water spot I needed to treat and I right. used, uh, made my own. It was really effective for that water right. spot. Okay, this is for counter spray, okay? And this is for dishwasher. If you, if you don't buy the Ungar, uh, that concentrate that I was telling you about, you can make your own, okay? And this is uh, stainless steel. I, 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 I use this because I have stainless steel appliances. It really um, make it very shiny, okay? And toilet bowl cleaner, again, there's so many different ways to use it. it just, this is just to give you ideas and tub and tile spray and stain remover for your washer and dryer okay because our washer and dryer sometimes has the gunky stuff you can use this and linen spray you can do that that's really funny it says vodka i wouldn't put vodka i'll put just alcohol <laughs> okay all right so for your next month or for this month when you're ordering stuff, start thinking. I love their uh, facial product. Try it. I always tell people, you know what? Give them a chance. Just try it. You know, you know it's natural. It's not going to hurt you. So might as well just give a chance. So, so if you add these all up, this actually will qualify you. They have uh, oil, you know, free oil of the month. This will qualify you for free oil of the month if you process before the 15th of the month. Okay, any questions? Okay. Thank you, Dr. Penny. You're um, welcome. So I'm trying to let people into Zoom. Some people are trying to get into Zoom, Noemi. I think I've let everybody in who's in the waiting room. Um, I do wanna say a little bit more about the On Guard Cleaner Concentrate that Dr. Penny loves. Um, I use that to clean my dishes so I save the pump bottle for the shampoo and I fill the pump bottle with water and then I just put like maybe one eighth of this bottle with the On Guard Cleaner Concentrate and we pump it into our sponge and use this because have you ever noticed that Dawn and like Palm Olive, they're green and they're blue and you're wondering why are they green and they're blue? That is food coloring or just coloring in general, chemical coloring, and you're using that to clean your dishes. And it has a lot of foaming capability because it has the SLS in there too. So those are both things that are not good for our bodies. And so I love to use the Onger Clean and Concentrate to clean my dishes. Um, the other thing that I love about this is it says um, that if the cleaner gets in to somebody's body, like they accidentally drink it, that all they need to do is drink a glass of water. So that's how non-toxic it is. Okay. Um, okay, I think that Kathleen Lou wants to go backwards a little bit to the dishwasher detergent recipe. Okay. Um, can you go back there, Dr. Penny? And then I just want to say that if you're um, someone in our group who hasn't ordered for a while, like for over six months, and I invited you, and you definitely want to order something today, before you do that, text me because I have a little something that I can do special for you, all right? And, um, and then also, if you're someone who has just ordered this month already, because it's already the end of the month, right? You don't wanna wait till uh, October to order, which is actually this Thursday anyway. But let's say you don't wanna wait, you wanna order now, but you already ordered this month, just text whoever invited you to, and they can do something for you, okay? So, um, all right, please, yet. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Penny. This is the dishwasher detergent recipe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shampoo and conditioner have, okay, yes, but it's not the sodium lauryl sulfate. It's a different form of sulfate. <laughs> Dr. Tina, the uh, screen says uh, add lemon. Is that uh, lemon oil? Yes, to your dishwasher? Yes. Oh, okay. Just uh, just the lemon drops, about how many? Um, I would say like maybe three to five. I've heard people, um, even they do this with tea tree too, like their dishwasher starts to smell moldy and they'll yeah. a couple drops of tea tree oil and then run the dishwasher on a on fringe cycle. Great, thank you. Good questions, good questions.
Okay, any other questions? Would that, would that also help with the moldy smell in the uh, washing machine as well? Absolutely, absolutely. Sometimes like I'll put a load of laundry in the washer and forget about it. And that's where I'll use a couple drops of tea tree or purify. Purify, I really love. That's a combination of citruses and cilantro and tea tree. Um, or I'll just put some tea tree oil in there and run it again. And it takes away that moldy smell. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Can you share eight and nine too? Oh, yeah. Can you show uh, days eight and nine, Dr. Penny? Oh, and the code word? Oh, the code word for today is going to be, mm, let's see, uh, Penny, Hi. you want to think of one? Hydroxyapatite. Can oh, you spell well. it? <laughs> so Dr. Tina is going to put on the chat box, okay? Hydroxy, H-Y. Okay. D-R-O. X-Y. Uh, you don't have to spell exactly right. I know. <laughs> Hydroxyapatite. It's up here. I'll do it again. Like hy hy hydroxy. Appetite. Like hydrogen. Like hydrogen, yeah. So this is number A slide. And number nine slide. Oh yeah, and I have used lemon before to remove blueberry stains. <laughs> it worked. I had to use a little bit of uh, a toothbrush to do it because it was kind of stuck in there, but it did work. What if I spell it right? H y d r o x y a p a t i c. Okay, and don't worry if um, you invited some people and they didn't finish the um, talk or couldn't get in. I, I think Zoom put some new restrictions on meetings, on free meetings, like this is a free meeting. I mean, not free meeting, I mean that this doesn't have a password, that's why it's a, it's a meeting that doesn't have the security measures in. So um, this is recorded and we will put it up on uh, the units on our Facebook, okay? Thank you, everyone. Okay, any other questions? Just go ahead and ask us. It's great to see you guys. Yes, thank it you. Really is. It really is. Uh, Dr. Penny, can you do put uh, put day six also? I think I missed day six. Day six? I'm sorry? Basics. Oh, um, was that one of the original slides, one of the earlier slides, Agnes? Put up day six. Day six? Day six, day six, not basics, day six. Okay. The stainless steel? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. A lot of people have stainless steel appliances now, so that's perfect. And again, you can see how clean and pure these, um, Cleaning ideas are, I mean, you know, it's not toxic. <laughs> so great. Um, are you guys going to do a detox section later or not? Oh, about the detox, cleanse, and detox. We can. We can. I mean, I'm just curious because, I mean, it's like a month program, is it? Yeah, it's a it's... month program. Um, Dr. Penny, do you want to do it real quick since you've done it before? Just show the picture of the detox. Okay. Okay, it's a 30 day cleanse. Gentle enough to be done actually four times a year. Um, what I love about it is it has so many different herbs in it and it is scheduled. So the first 10 days you're gonna be taking something different than the second set of 10 days than the third set of 10 days. Um, the whole time, however, you will be taking the vitamins because that is the foundation. And um, Dr. Penny, you want to talk about it a little more? Uh, I, I just think it's very easy. Um, you just, just follow it. And then again, drinking water is actually something that we did not realize we did not drink enough water. 
So just even right now, if you take those supplements, which is uh, nutrients, um, my husband actually, before we, do, we did the detox, all he did was taking those nutrients, vitamins, plus lemon oil and for six weeks. So every time he, he drank the water, he put one drop of oil, okay? And for six weeks, he actually lost nine pounds. And again, it, it's not about just losing weight. It's to really flush out all the toxin mm -hmm. from your body. Mm -hmm. And then so you will absorb the food better. You have more energy. Uh, like I said, myself, the symptom, I have some symptom that I had before, actually, uh, they, they're gone. And, uh, and it actually makes me more, even more aware after I finished this, I thought, okay, so when I eat something, I want to kind of, you know, remind myself, oh, I feel good. So I want to keep it, my body this good, no pain or, you know, so that actually reminded myself, say, I, I want to, I want this kind of lifestyle. So mm. it, it just, it just really wonderful. And it's gentle. It's very gentle. Mm. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. So, so after you do the talk, you know, the detox, you will find out I can, you know, as a doctor, we can pile up, you know, those oil for you, those recipe to target your health issue. But if you have a lot of toxin in your body, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're not going to absorb uh, the best from all the mm -hmm. ingredients that we advise you to do. You know, for example, this, yeah, like rheumatoid arthritis, you know, some autoimmune disease. Uh, I just found out if you have less toxin in your body, then when you do oils or, or natural remedies, it's more effective. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, Dr. Penny, did you say that we, you will have the um, slide somewhere or the video that you can send to us if we're interested in the one that you were showing sure. you know, the video for the 30 days detox? Yes. Yes. I will, okay. I will try Thank to you. post that video at Dr. Tina's uh, uh, Healthy Essential if you're on her Facebook site. Anything to watch out if you do that? Mm, is there anything I need to watch out? Uh, I know when I talk to Dr. Judy, if you want to maximize the detox effect, there's five things that she told me if you can try to cut down and reduce. Because if you're going to detox your body, so five things that you really want to cut down is sugar, alcohol, um, red meat, that's what she told me, uh, caffeine, and uh, what's another one? Carbohydrates. Uh, actually, carbohydrates, but just no white sugar. White sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if Dr. Judy's here. I know she's a little busy. I, I just remember there's five things she said. If you really want to maximize the detox, if you can try to cut down and avoid you know, five things. Alcohol. So, alcohol is one, sugar is one, uh, red meat, um, caffeine. What's the other one? No, I can't remember. I dairy? Have to go back. Dairy? Oh yeah, dairy, dairy. Yes. Dairy. Mm -hmm. So it will actually teach you uh, to eat healthier actually, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, my husband never cut down I mean, he cut down the caffeine, but he never gave up the caffeine. I just want to tell you, some people just, they want to have caffeine, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. But for me, when I do something, that's, that's another thing. It's your mindset. It's all about your mindset. If I do something, I want to maximize the effect. Then I was determined that if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it like 100%. I'm not going to do 50%, <laughs> you know, that's just me. But it doesn't tell you that, but I'm not telling you that you should not eat those, okay? And in fact, because I was actually worried that I, I wasn't overweight, I was actually losing weight, so I need to put more calories in my diet. So that's my, uh, that's my experience. Those are great questions. Yes, good question. Yeah. Okay. So Dr. Tina, when are we going to do again? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah.
yeah, you know what? I'm, if there is enough interest here, we can do another one before Thanksgiving. If you guys want to do it in October, that means that you'll need to order the uh, cleanse and restore kit the first week of October for sure. Um, it's $245, but it includes all of this. And we did a Facebook group that incorporated um, daily exercise, reminders to drink your water. It was really fun, actually. So, um, and we have prizes and stuff too. So maybe you can put on a chat box if you're interested in doing that. Otherwise, I think definitely the next time we'll do it will be in January. Yeah, after holidays, right? <laughs> you know but some people want to like cleanse out before the holidays too and i i respect that yes so um yeah i'm gonna put that on the chat box if you're interested um but yeah i do love this cleanse it's very gentle you will be having a very regular bowel movements um but it's not uh diarrhea no mm -hmm. no yeah no diarrhea a ton of energy a ton of energy Okay, so that's the um, conclusion of our uh, toxin-free living. Thank you, Dr. Penny, did a great job for her. Okay, put a reaction there if you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for the extra information about hydroxyapatite. And that is the keyword for today, okay? Uh, I'm gonna stop the recording now.